let us try to solve the fourth problem in Microsoft Word. And in this uh, problem, we are supposed to create a interview call letter for five candidates describing about the company and the instructions for the interview. And we are supposed to use the mail merge feature that we are going to use it. So this is the letter that they have uh, given. And uh, you are supposed to type this letter altogether. I have taken the trouble of uh, completing this letter. What I've done here in this uh, particular document is uh, wherever the fields are required, wherever the actual names or details are required, I have just highlighted them so that um, we know very well which are the things uh, that need to be taken care. So this is what um, we are supposed to do it. So I'm going to just keep the content over here. Now, according to them, we are supposed to make this one as uh, bold and uh, maybe center it. So I'm going to select this whole thing. I'm going to go to the home here, make it bold and maybe increase its font size and then center it. So that's it. So it is there at the center. Now to perform the mail merging option, I'm going to go to the mailing option over here. So you can notice uh, this option mailing. So click on this uh, mailing option. And once you click on this mailing option, you have a lot of options over here. I'm going to use the mail merge option, which is uh, available over here. That is a mail merge option. And uh, I'm going to click on the down arrow and I'm going to select the last option. That is the step-by-step -step, uh, mail merge wizard. So this is the one that I'm going to use it. So let me go ahead and let's uh, click on that. Now, when I click on it, I'm going to get um, a lot of option on the right hand side. So if you look at uh, the right hand side over here, you will notice that uh, it's going to tell you that there are six steps are required to complete the mail merging. And we are at the step number one. In the step number one, we are supposed to write the letter or you can also send an email envelope and so on and so forth. We are interested in the letter. So I'm, the first option is already selected. Let me go to the next step. So I'm going to click on the next step here that is starting the document. So when I click on the next, you can always go back and forward by clicking on them. So I'm in the step number two and the step number says um, select the starting document and uh, as mentioned over here, use the current document because we have already written the letter. I'm going to go to the next step. So click on this one. And then it's going to say that um, uh, use the uh, select the recipient. Now the recipient is um, the uh, details of uh, the individual candidate. Now I don't have that thing. So I'm going to click on this particular option that is the type a new list over here. And then I'm going to click on the create to create a new list for me. So I will click on this one that is uh, create. So I've already selected this one and then click on the create. When I click on the create, I'm going to get um, the options like this. So in this, you will notice that a uh, lot of uh, unnecessary fields are there. So what I'm going to go over here, I'm going to go to the custom columns. That is the customized column option, which is available over here. And I'm going to customize the columns here. So click on it. And when you do it, you're going to see a lot of uh, field names which are uh, directly added by the Microsoft. So Microsoft helps you with the normal letter writing. Now I'm not interested in all these things. So first of all, I'm going to go to the title because title is not asked here. I'm going to delete that title. And the next thing that I'm going to get is the first name. However, what is written over here is the name of the candidate. So I'm going to rename this one instead of uh, doing this. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say rename. So this option, I'm going to select this one. So I'm going to say rename. And uh, as given over here, I'm going to say name of the candidate. So I'm going to delete this part and then I'm going to say name of uh, the name of the candidate 
click OK and you notice that that field uh, has been renamed. Next thing is the last name is there which I am not interested so I am going to select this and I am going to delete this one and I am going to say yes delete it. Then the company name which is not there so I am going to delete this one and say yes. Then I have the address uh, line 1 here but uh, what we have here is just the address so I am going to rename this one and I am going to get rid of the line 1. So click OK and I have the address. I am going to delete the address line 2 and then what we have is the name of the candidate is over and date of uh, interview so this is the next thing so i'm going to select the next one and i'm going to just uh, rename it and i'm going to say date of uh, interview so date of uh, interview and i'm going to just click ok and the next part uh, is the venue details i'm going to select the next field that is the state and i'm going to rename it and i'm going to say that uh, this is the venue details so this is what uh, we have I click ok and what else we have if you notice over here because uh, you cannot scroll it and do anything over here i'm going to go to the document over here and uh, you will notice uh, in this uh, document there are some places wherein they have marked the square bracket so they are the one which has to be removed it so I have uh, this thing, I think uh, I have not highlighted the name of the job. So here I can see it. So name of the job. Let me do that thing. I'm going to just um, rename the next field and I'm going to say name, rename it and I'm going to say name of the job. I'll just rename it directly over here. It is there, name of the job. So name of, uh, let me say of, name of the dev sitter again okay, name of the job so name of uh, the job click ok now if you want you can rearrange uh, them suppose if you want them to go front above this one you can use this move up arrow to move it uh, here so you have the uh, name of the candidate address name of the candidate again repeated and name of the job here and uh, date of interview venue details okay let's look at uh, what are the other things that are required so i'm going to go to this part and uh, so we have uh, uh, these many things which are covered over here and i also covered this part and uh, i've also covered um, the date of interview and venue details so this part uh, is done so let me go down and let's uh, look at what else uh, we can uh, what else is uh, left over if you notice over here there is this phone number this is uh, highlighted however the email id or uh, regards to manager details all these things are not highlighted so i'm not going to touch them because it is not highlighted i will not make changes to them let's go to the this part i'm going to call this as phone number so that uh, it is easier rather than uh, making the deed writing that thing so i will select this country region and rename it and i'm going to say a phone number you can click ok and a remaining part is not required so i'm going to remove it i'll click on it click on delete press yes click on the email address delete click on yes so what we are left with one two four and six fields are there let me click OK and uh, we are uh, now given a neat interface which shows what are the things uh, that we are supposed to add. So let me start with the uh, first name Rita. So let's keep it here. I'll take the address as O2P. Name of the job is manager. Date of interview let me say 23rd November 2022 venue details and phone number you can scroll from here venue detail let's say sales department and phone number you can press tab to go to the next one let's say 555666 some number is there now in order to add a 
a new entry you just go to the new entry option over here and say add a new entry so let's click on new entry when you click on new entry you get a, a blank row over here i will type sita i'll say take the city as car color car color let's say i'll take clerk you can press tab to go to the next uh, column so let's say 20th november 2022 and i'll say that uh, it is in the accounts department okay then last one is the phone number let's say some phone numbers are added let me add uh, one more field over here and i'm going to take it as ravi and uh, the place let's say manipal and uh, let's say i'm going to call them as a developer and let's say 12 december 2022 and i'll say it department you can also add uh, the remaining field here make it as five add uh, two more entries i'm not going to do that thing to just save the time of the video let me click on ok here and when you click on ok microsoft uh, word is going to ask you to save the file you can give any name to this file see to it that the file name uh, don't give the file name which is already there let's say interview letter you can give anything interview letter 0 1 2 3 and so on 0 1 let me say you can give any other name also so name is yours click ok i click on save so when i click on this save button what you notice over here is it's going to show you all uh, the things uh, the name details and so on and so forth click ok that's all you don't need to do anything automatically you will notice that uh, it's going to say that a user existing list and uh, it's going to say it is uh, the interview letter or something has been selected but you can always uh, <coughs> select the different list or uh, edit the recipient if at all you have not added them i'm going to go to the next step over here the step number four and the step number four says uh, that um, write um, your letter and uh, add the fields let me add the fields so here I'm going to select this part name of the candidate and I'm going to go to this place over here and I'm going to select the more items so this is the option more item I'm going to select this uh, more item and when I click on more item I get uh, a list of fields I'll take this one name of the candidate click on the insert button here when I click on the insert button that field has been added you have to close it again select the next one address go to the right hand side and say more items and uh, select the address click on select the address click on insert and the address is added close it same way select the name of the candidate select this one go to the right hand side and you have the more items here click on this more items and select the name of the candidate as usual name of the candidate and click on insert close it then i'm going to select the name of the job so let me select the name of the job and i'm going to click on more items and then i'm going to select the name of the job and click on insert and uh, you notice that uh, the name of the job has been inserted close if you want you can put some space there so that uh, it appears neatly then i'm going to select uh, the date of interview there is no need that uh, you have to uh, highlight it with the yellow color i have done it because uh, it is easier for me to demonstrate that things are changing 
So let me click on more items and then I'm going to select the date of interview and then I'm going to click on insert, close it. I'm going to select the venue details, again go to the more items and select the venue details, select it by clicking on it and then click insert, close it. And finally, I'm going to go here and select the phone number. This is uh, GGG something that they have written, select it. And then go to the more items and select the phone number and then replace that uh, by clicking on the insert. So this is done. If you want, close it and uh, if you want, put some space so that it appears neat. So this is done. Step number four is done. You have merged, uh, you have uh, added all the fields. Click next to go to the step number five. Here you can see the preview of your letter. You can always uh, insert the date. So today's date if I say, then it is 15 and uh, 11, 2022. You can insert that one. Now you can click on uh, the next recipient here. If you notice or you have the recipient here. So you can, uh, go to the next recipient how it uh, appears on uh, your uh, output you can see that thing once everything is done let's go to the step number six here when i click on step number six it's going to say what do you want to do uh, print it or uh, edit the individual letter i'm going to say edit the individual letter when i click on it uh, it is going to say how many letters all the letters i want it let me click on ok and uh, you notice uh, that um, all the field that you have added is uh, there for all the different uh, records so this is what uh, you can notice and this is how you are going to do the mail merge of uh, the document that's all let me select the let me close this video.